Hello and welcome guys to this interesting session of ASP.NET Core 7.0. In this session, we are going to see how we can implement ADEO.NET with the help of store procedure in our .NET Core Web API. So I will write one single store procedure. I will write one single API to manage, create, read, update, delete operation. It will be interesting and it will be super easy. Before starting the session guys, if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon for future notification. If you ended up liking my video, give me a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Let's get started. So for this, I am using Visual Studio 2022 and creating a new project of .NET Core Web API. So I am giving ADO SP CROD. So, Azure Net Store Procedure Cloud Operations. Click on Next. Uh, non of HTTPS for now. Let's go for Open API Support, which is Swagger. Click on Create. Guys, I already created up Azure.NET for .NET Core 3.0, 5.0, 6.0. I will give the link on the video description. If you want, you can check it out. Also, after completing this session, I will upload this source code to Google Drive and give the link on the video description so you can also download and do your practice. First step is to our, once our application got created, first step go to NuGet package and install the SQL data client. Go to browse. SQL client or SQL client, what you say, Microsoft data dot SQL client. Select this and install. Once it got installed, we will go to our app setting dot JSON where we need to add our connection string. So my connection string will be here is my server so if you can see this is my connection string so let's copy paste the connection string from somewhere else no need to write okay accept okay our connection string is done our db name is ytdb and the table name is tbl comment this tbl comment contain auto id which is auto increment primary key full name, mobile number, email id, messages and entry date, entry date will be our current date. See if I select from here, only one record is showing now. Right, now our task is to go to create a controller and use first task is to go to SQL. Here create a procedure, create procedure, USB, user store procedure, AED, R, edit, delete and I am giving comments. So here I am giving a parameter int action as per this action i am going to do insert delete update select next is i need my all the column name so for all the column name i have to do like this pasted here shift alt down arrow at the right So message will be I no need of entry date because entry date will be current date. I will enter get date. Next task is age begin and now I can write if action equal to one which is insert begin end i'll go directly from here copy this one and test i no need of auto id So this is insert statement for entry date I will give 
get date it will take current date now i'm going to write same statement for everything so like this i'm going to write else if if action equal to 2 it will be update i'm just writing a comment for reference also i'm going to give this also in the source code so i can di directly write this here like update tvl command set full name equal to full name email id equal to email id and mobile number equal to mobile number messages equal to messages where auto id equal to auto id okay this is for update and for delete same thing i'm going to do like this for delete here i'm going to write three and which will be a delete statement so i'm going to straight forward here writing tvl comment in case of four it will be a select statement so it will be a select so how it will be four and straight forward i'm going to write like this Rusty from TVL comments order by auto ID descending so latest will come first now execute the store procedure our store procedure executed successfully store procedure created now go to our code add a controller here so I am adding a, my own controller as a comment controller so that table I am store, storing the comments just like in the uh, website's comment okay now click on add so i will be giving the name as comment controller no need of this route actually uh, i can directly write public i configuration config let's create a constructor for here for this public controller name or class name and here we have we need to initialize our config so here i can directly assign that config equal to config now now i have to write a http post method okay i missed one thing i need to add a model as for my database table so right click or folder model so it will be right click our class comment model uh, it will be same as the my column name so i will be directly posting straight forward here i no need of entry date oh, okay leave it for now we need here and one more each we have Called axon right now then now go to our here we need to create API so API name will be comments it is accepting the comments model i'm really push this one comments model here i need to write the sql command to do this we can directly like this data table dt a sql connection so it will be config okay and my com store procedure name will be what which we given here usb aed comments so i think the same thing tbl comments okay now tax you need to pass the parameters post the parameter i can i'm directly writing like this command dot parameter dot add with value this is the parameter name and this is the parameter value next thing i need to check what user is posted it for insert it's for update it's for delete it's for select i will do here now so here i'm writing if action equal to one the result will be this one okay i think i need to do here int 
eight and that time right yes we got added here properly now now thing is that for select statement for select statement i'm going to create the list of model comment so i can write else if if obj dot action equal to four then i can directly write this a list comment next i'm doing a for loop r into list and returning the list of comment done let's run this guys 10 minutes it took 10 minutes to insert of the delete selector you can see just 10 minutes or you can see nine minute nine minute also because first one minute i just say welcome hello guys right so in the nine minute insert of the delete select statement completed so it is super easy so within a few minutes we are going to few hours agar let's see so our swagger ui is loaded now we have only one api comment which is a post method let's try it out so i am adding something like auto id one which is action id one which is insert auto id i am not sending and full name i am giving so before inserting let's go to the table and select how many data are there only one record let's post record now messages always guys please subscribe uh, it will be encouraging for them but now entry date we no need because we are in the store procedure itself we are giving get that which is current date execute let's see what is coming connection successfully established to the server but and during the login process something happened let's see okay in dotnet code 7.0 we need to add one more fear value trusted server certificate equal to true stop it rerun it so we have post comment here let's post the data let it everything like this and execute now go to the table select yes it is added string 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 let's add one more value okay let's give action id equal to four which is our select statement we have inserted now we got auto id 3 so i need to update this 3 so 3 is action id equal to 2 we given in our store position so action id equal to 2 auto id equal to 3 first name will be my own name viswaranjan mobile number i am giving perfect email and message please subscribe guys please subscribe now execute hit it now you can see the updated successfully now put a 4 again and see what is coming it's updated now i want to delete the auto id 2 so how i can delete action id equal to 3 auto id equal to 2 so execute now go to table it's deleted guys in this way we can implement ADO.NET with the help of store procedure in dotnet core 7.0 i hope you like this session if you do give me a like and share this video with your friends thank you very much